Welcome back. It's been a little while since I've done anything to the Escort van, so I thought I'll have some time on it today. Um, I'm going to start with getting all the bits out of the back, and I'm probably going to strip as much off the van as I can, and basically see where we're at welding-wise. First things first, let's get all the stuff out of the back. Not sure where I'm going to put it all yet, I've already run out of space in here. Right, so that's the back all cleared out. It's the first time I've actually seen in the back properly, so I just fired all the stuff in it. First thing I've noticed, which is pretty obvious, is the uh, inner wheel wells have had some pretty ugly looking patches on them. So they're going to need cutting out and doing properly. Unfortunately, you can't get in our arches on these, which is a bit of a shame, so I'll have to make something up for them, but it's only an old van at the end of the day. You can see where someone's literally over welded the arches on it at the moment, which are pretty mank on the outside. Someone in the comments mentioned that the uh, post office or Royal Mail and used to have roof nuts in for the bulkheads and they're absolutely right because they are there so it looks like it could well be an extra Royal Mail van. But yeah, panel wise I've got two, that's two second hand doors that literally have no rust on the bottoms. That was a, quite a lucky find to be fair, they're literally mint. The ones on the van are pretty rough. I managed to find the original air filter and the glove box lid and a few other trims that were missing in there that I didn't know I had. I managed to find the wiper arms that it's not had, although they've been back painted red, so they'll need red to find. Panel wise, I've got full half fours for left and right hand side. I've got a full dryers repair panel, which I'm going to use on this because it's gone on the inside bit a bit further than that. Two rear arches. Two out sills and two inner sills. Unfortunately these inner sills and these Mark IVs are rubbish to be fair. Um, I've used them a few times on other customer cars and that and they're the only ones you can get that make do with them. I'm actually going to reinforce with a third piece of inner sill on this just to give it a bit of extra strength because I do plan on using this every day and I know they're quite a weak point in the sills on these. Alright next one I'm going to That's about all stripped out as much as I can for now. Uh, a few extra surprises. The boot floor is a little bit dented in. I didn't really know it was dented in. I don't know if you see it in the video. It's a bit wavy, obviously from carrying weight in its past. I've got some holes in the corners and probably around the edges to be fair. I think very nice. More hole there. Had some patchwork. So yeah, the rear floor is a little bit worse than I'd hoped to be honest, but we'll get it sorted. Uh, Moving around into the interior side, it's actually not too bad to be fair. It, it does need outer sills, inner sills, and floors, but it's really not bad. The passenger side is not bad at all, it's just a lip where it joins, but it'll all get done anyway. Front end there, the rest of it's good. Driver side's a bit worse, holes in there, but once again, it's only the outer edges, it's all easily rectified. Two full inner and outer sills and the half floors I've got, repair all these bits. I've taken the dashboard out purely because of the scuttle panel, um, plus also it has had a battery train in the past that you can't really see from in here, but on the outside, actually you can, there's a 
the holes in the corners where it's not been welded properly, so I'm probably going to end up cutting out and redoing it properly. Otherwise, I'll end up getting water in there and just rusting out again. A few random wires, which I have no idea what's going on with there. I've never checked any lights or anything, but some of them have been cut. Had some sort of switch on there, so I don't know if the actual main light switch works or not. I'll have to look into that. Uh, yeah, I took the screen out. Annoyingly, I broke the little screen. Trying to be gentle and then the corner went, so I just ended up pushing it out once that went. So I need to try and get a new wind uh, windscreen and a new windscreen seal. I've started taking a few bits off the front. I can't get the bumper off because the bumps are spinning inside the bumper, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to get them off yet. But I have noticed that the uh, cross member down here is rusty. So it will mean I'm going to have to take the front end off and possibly put two new wings on it. This one's dented anyway. They're not actually rotten, but if I'm going to take them off, I might as well put two new ones on. New front panel, new cross render. Can't lift it up yet because my little ramp it's on is not wide in yet. But the insides are actually pretty good to be fair. It's still like it's red paint and it's not rotten, so until I look into there, quite happy with that. But yeah, that's about as far as I can get for now, stripping it. Rust wise, I've got pretty much all the panels front to back I've got. It's just I'm gonna to need to get a load of front bits. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. I think then in the next video, I'm hopefully gonna start cutting bits of the floor out, repairing the bits that I have got panels for, get the floors and sills and stuff all done. And I'll decide on what I'm gonna do with the rear floor because it it's not very nice. Have a think on that one. But yeah, that's where we're up to at the moment. I'm probably, possibly gonna take the engine out because the fuel pump seems to have stopped working anyway. So I'll probably take it out, at least I can get it all cleaned up and stuff properly. Go from there. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, see what happens next time.